Well, good afternoon. I'm uh, pleased to be here today to announce the introduction of Bill 12, the Trustee Act. And this bill reflects the uh, government's work to continue to reform legislation to better meet the needs of Albertans. This new Trustee Act allows the Uniform Trustee Act that was issued by the Uniform Law Conference of Canada, who provides independent analysis and recommendations for the harmonization and reform of laws in Canada. And the new act was recommended for adoption in Alberta by the Alberta Law Reform Institute. Now, the new Trustee Act would replace the current Trustee Act, which is significantly outdated and based on, quite frankly, mid-Victorian era legislation. And the current Trustee Act is mainly concerned with trusts under wills. But trusts are also much more than that now. They have been adopted in modern business and they apply to an increasingly broad range of property. A couple examples. The Real Estate Investment Trust Fund Land, uh, sorry, Real Estate Investment Trust uh, uh, Fund uh, Land Development, Royalty Trust Finance, the uh, oil and gas sector, and the new Trustee Act would improve the business environment by improving the day-to-day -day management of trusts, reduce the administrative burden on trustees, it would also provide clarity on the responsibilities and the duties of trustees, and reduce the need for the courts to be involved. Now, these will be welcome changes for trustees, the legal community, our courts, beneficiaries, and Albertans who are setting up or managing a trust. The new act would improve the administration of trust by setting out and clarifying trustees' responsibilities. And this includes new provisions that, um, that a trustee must exercise the care, the diligence, and the skill that a person with good judgment would use in dealing with the property of another person. Some may think that this, uh, this should be obvious, but we need to enshrine it in law to further protect beneficiaries, to give them recourse if a trustee does not make decisions prudently. And as well, a new duty for trustees to report to and respond to beneficiary requests provides transparency in the administration of a trust. Administering trusts would also improve as we are proposing to broaden trustees' uh, administrative powers. And this could include buying and selling trust property and purchasing, renting, or building a residence for a beneficiary. The new Trustee Act would also provide processes to allow for a temporary trustee when a trustee is temporarily absent or incapacitated, allow for the removal of an unfit trustee, and as well to allow a trustee to resign if needed. All of these changes will allow trusts to function properly without the need for costly court involvement. And ultimately, this would let trustees better serve beneficiaries and to better manage trusts. For the legal community, including lawyers and members of the Canadian Bar Association, the new act would make dealing with trusts simpler. It would result in fewer court interventions to address minor administrative issues. And for trust and estate organizations, such as the Society of Trust and Estate Practitioners, or STEP, clarifying and setting out the responsibilities and the duties of trustees would help families to better plan for and set up their trusts. And for the courts, judges would benefit from a reduced caseload as fewer trust-related applications would be brought to the courts. And for Albertans who are setting up a trust, the new act would make the process more efficient and less of a burden. It would also be generally less expensive for Albertans to create a trust. And this is because the new Trustee Act would reduce the legal and other costs by lessening the, the complexity and the number of matters that have to be included in the trust document. And for beneficiaries, the new legislation would strengthen their protections, reduce costs, and as I mentioned before, minimize the need for the court to be involved. At the same time, while we are proposing an overall new piece of legislation, some provisions of the existing act would still remain. Now this includes the, the prudent investor rules that require a trustee to make investment decisions based on obtaining reasonable returns while avoiding undue risk. This will continue to govern the investments that a trustee may make. 
Now, together, the changes in the new Trustee Act reflect our government's commitment to modernizing trust laws in the province. The scope of the commitment is clear and can be easily seen in the improvements being proposed in this new legislation. From clear responsibilities for trustees to improved administration, reducing the court being involved, and cost savings for Albertans. Bill 12 is a modern, more efficient way to manage trusts. So thank you very much, and I'm pleased to take any questions. Thank you very much, Minister. D uh, do we have any questions from the floor this afternoon? Seeing none, uh, yo, please come to the mic over here. If you just uh, let us know your uh, name and affiliate, please. Uh, Darcy Robjan, City News Edmonton. I was wondering if you could just pr uh, provide some reaction to the federal government's announcement today on their uh, climate plans uh, that they released today. I haven't had an opportunity to review what, what has been uh, proposed, so I can't comment on it, I, and I would defer to the Minister of Environment or Minister of Energy. Thank, thank you. you. Excellent. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us today, and uh, uh, everyone have a great afternoon. Thank you.